Welcome! I had a very good time yesterday. It was a beautiful day, sunny day, and on top of that there was a big orchid show at the Botanical Gardens and there was a sale. There was a huge crowd there. There were so many people that it was really difficult to get to the vendors tables and equally difficult it was to see the show and the display. And probably because of the of the pressure and of the hype that was there, I bought some stuff. I bought two plants, I bought two orchids. I was hoping not to buy anything, but I couldn't resist. They are two different dendrobiums. They are mount mounted on a plastic tray. I bought them from two different vendors, but because they are mounted in the same way, I they were probably imported from the same source. They are both dendrobiums. This is dendrobium, this one, the yellow one. One second, let me zoom it in. This is dendrobium senile. It's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Senile is probably, the name comes from the fact that the stems are quite hairy. I used to have it. I used to have uh, this species before. However, I was not successful to, to keep it alive. I had it for two seasons, I think. Uh, I bought it as a blooming plant and then it never bloomed again and it died on me. And I even have a video about it when it's in a very, very disastrous shape. So I really hope that this time I would be more successful. However, I will have to remove it from this plate somehow or maybe bury the plate in, the, in, in some medium bark and sphagnum moss because this plant, hairy as it is, it certainly requires much more moisture than, uh, than I have at my place. This one, the other one, the orange one, is also a dendrobium and it is called Dendrobium unicum and unique it really is. Look at the beauty of the flowers. Let me again focus on them. Look at them. Isn't it something? I am so, so, so happy I have it. And again, I will have to remove it from the little plate. I will have to plant it uh, in some medium or at least at the beginning before summer comes, uh, I will have to put some sphagnum moss around uh, its roots because there is not enough moisture at my place to keep it alive. I will have to research uh, those two species, species and I will have to check how to take care of them. They don't necessarily, even though they become to be, even though they belong to the same genus, they don't necessarily have to have the same requirements and as um, when it comes to watering, when it comes to uh, care. But they are both very, very, very pretty. I'm really happy I bought them uh, with flowers. That's why I bought them because I'm afraid I might not be able to to make them bloom again. We'll see. We'll see. Orchids are tricky. I have some species that do bloom for me uh, regularly and I, again I have them on this channel. I made videos about them and they are also dendrobiums and they they rebloom. They I've had them for many years. However, these ones might be might be more tricky might be more difficult especially that the way they are planted right now the way they are growing uh they were certainly kept somewhere in east asia uh in a greenhouse with optimal conditions and now they were they were transported here and they went through a lot of stress we'll see we'll see i hope i hope they will survive so today I will be busy finding a spot for these plants 
and f finding some sphag sphagnum moss. I do have some, I, ha I just have to find it and I will put around the roots uh, to keep the moisture and then eventually I will find a pot for them and some bark and I will plant them. And hopefully soon I will be able to make another video about them, maybe with some new stems, with new leaves. And next year, hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be more, more flowers to show. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have an amazing afternoon.